But the man before you is a champion of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. Maybe, but what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. The man has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Like that again, huh? In another life, the man was a writer. He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Somewhere within the Earth, space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Oh! 
You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember, you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um... Now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. I'm very sensitive to things like that. There's a bunch of stuff I need to find. The things mentioned on that page? Well, there's a lot of old crap lying around this place. Great, thanks. I think you should be able to find everything, except the satellite, obviously. Are you gonna tell me what this is? I don't think that'd go over too well. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Fine. The page is a formula for rewriting reality. Either I use it to close a strange portal to a place that isn't in our world, or shadowy serial killer monster things keep pouring out of there. Yeah, you were right the first time. You can think what you want about me, but there's still bad guys around. Be careful. Well, you might be nuts, but I've seen the way they move, the way they look. I'll buy that. They're called Taken. They aren't really human. Not anymore. And they're climbing out of the oil well? What, do they have secret headquarters down there, or...? No, that's just where the point of connection is. It's a hole that leads to... well, it's a really nasty place. That's why I need to close it. And the guy who looks like you opened it, because he was hanging around the oil field before. He gets around, unfortunately. Thanks for helping me. Oh, I wish I thought you were just a nutcase. Actually, I kind of expected you to. Me too. But I feel like this is how it's supposed to go. Isn't that weird? Not really. I get that a lot in my line of work. What do you do anyway? I'm a writer. Obviously. What was that you said about my aura? Oh, I'm very spiritual, you know. I can see auras, but I only use it for healing and helping people. I'm like a wise woman, you know? I give people insight and advice. Look, just because I say crazy things doesn't mean I believe everything. Don't be like that. Maybe you should take a few crystals with you if you're going out there. It might be dangerous. They soothe your energies and focus your mind. It's fantastic. And they help me take out the bad guys? Oh, well, no. Not as such. Yeah, okay. I think I'm... Or I have some wonderfully potent herbal detox suppositories. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. The Champion of Light recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design, custom engineered to destroy the dark portal if he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Oh, uh, wait. Wait! one thing down.
the drive-in. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here. A sequel to Samurai vs. Conquistador. Is nothing sacred? Oh, it's you. That's fantastic. Are you okay? Go away. No, I want you. But you'll get angry if you're here. So you gotta go. You know I'll do what you want. Okay. I... I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? Are you gonna hurt me now? Cause you should. Lady, you got darkness on the brain. I think I can help you if I can get the lights on in here. You can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So, where shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on, accidentally? It's the big building on the other side of the drive-in, but it's locked. Where's the key? Just so that I know to avoid it. It's... It's on the wall, next to the cash register. But you can't. You can't. Don't be bad. Hey, no problem. I'm just gonna go do some other stuff. Scout's honor. Mm. <laughs> just try to stay calm. I I've seen this kind of thing before. I think you're gonna be okay. Why did I... Why is it so hard to think? You've been touched by darkness. It's... I'm hoping it's not permanent. Remember when you were here before? And you kissed me? And then everything got all dark? That was the best. Listen, this is very important. Where did he... I mean... Where did I go? Can you tell me that? Baby, you don't need to go anywhere. You're here now. And you're in my head. You should be in me. You should touch me again. Not with a ten-foot pole, lady. Hey, just in case there's a part of you in there that's freaking out right now, it's not your fault. I promise I'll do what I can to help you, okay? I... I don't... Please go away. Don't sweat it. I'm just saying that in case you really need to hear it, I've been there. I... I think there are spiders in my eyes. I think you put them in me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go now. The man has encountered this before. People whose integrity has been suborned by the insidious touch of the darkness. He has experienced it himself, but merciful light burned away the darkness in his brain. Oh, look! Mr. Hero's here! You ready to save the day?
No, don't. Oh, it's not... It's you. Did... Did you help me? Looks like you're feeling better now. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. I don't know what happened. There was... this guy. Before you say anything, I know I look like him, but I'm not. Don't worry. You just don't feel anything like he does. He was in my head. I feel like I need to take 50 showers. Where is he? That asshole wanted to get into the projector booth. He was talking about fixing things so the sun never comes up. God, it didn't seem that weird when he was saying it. It sounded really good at the time. You weren't yourself. The projector booth. That sounds about right. I need to get in there. I have the access code for the door. Here. Thanks. I'm just glad you showed up now. He said he'd be back after he'd arranged for some security. Do you feel up to telling me what's going on here? We have an art exhibition here, supposed to open tomorrow. I'm the curator. My name's Serena Valdivia. Alan Wake. Holy shit, it is you. I didn't... I mean, I've seen you on the big screen. I... I know your wife. You know Alice? Wait. Big screen? Yeah, we have a film from her here. What the hell happened to you? Getting back to Alice. Oh, God, yeah, sorry. Uh... It's quite a coincidence that you're here. She made this short film. I mean, she shot it years ago. You're in it. It's a part of the exhibition. I'm in a film? Yeah, it's like... I mean, it's just footage she shot of you at some point. But she turned it into this... thing. It's, a uh, Almost like a memorial of sorts. Because, you know, you're supposed to be dead. Or... something. Uh-huh. How's Alice? Is she all right? She's okay, I guess, all things considered. I know her pretty well. You're really Alan? I can't believe you're here. Nobody knows what happened to you. But there are people who say they've seen you. That wasn't me. He just looks the same. Like, you know. Yeah, but that guy's a lot more slimy. The thought of him makes me... I hate him, but I... There's something about him, this... God, he's so creepy. Anyway, you're not like him. At all. I hope you can stop him. The Champion of Light can feel the fragment of the signal in his pocket. The weapon that can change what will be. It's incomplete, but it's all he has. <laughs> You've been up to something, haven't you? Too bad it's not gonna do any good. I'm a better you than you ever will be, and I've got all the time in the world. Everything you've got's going to be mine. Your life. Your wife! <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? The sun's never coming up now. I can keep this up forever! Show yourself! Whatever you say, buddy! <sighs> the rush of darkness is unstoppable. Time itself twists and tears, sweeping the Champion of Light back with its dark currents. Again he enters the world, 
But now he sees the trap for what it is. A maze that loops back into itself. I'm, I'm here again. He sent me back. It's said that nobody knows what the future might bring, but for this man, it's no longer entirely true. A weaker man might simply give up, but the Champion of Light is an expert on destiny. Sometimes the puppet and puppeteer can be one and the same. I'm gonna tell you a secret. There are places in our world where fiction and dreams can come true, powered by the dark energies leaking from beyond. These places are a battlefield in a war between the powers of light and darkness. I'm Alan Wake, a writer, a creator. I know the rules of the game. My specialty is fiction that can change the world. Words of power that can bend reality to my will. Oh, it's you. Something horrible is coming. He's called Mr. Scratch. He's after my wife, Alice. Do you know the real difference between us? I'm not afraid to be the center of attention. I can't return to the real world. I've tried, but I'm operating on dream logic, forcing the door open a crack so I can slip through. Fiction wants to come true. All you need to do is help it achieve its potential. Under these peculiar, exceptional circumstances, any story, any urban legend, any lie can come true. 